Hello, this is David Richardson, and welcome to another edition of Job Search Moment. A question employers frequently ask applicants goes something like this. What do you do in your spare time? Have you ever wondered what purpose this question serves? Why is the employer interested in your answer? To make a judgment about your suitability for an available job, the employer wants to know who you really are rather than the presentation you intentionally make in order to get hired for a job. He wants to know who you are when you are not on the spot. The reason? That's simple. The best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. If the interviewer can discover how you behave routinely, that will reliably predict how you will behave on the job. So the employer asks questions designed to reveal behavior on past jobs, such as, do you think you're a good team player, and why do you think that? The question about your spare time serves a similar purpose, only it is designed to discover what you are like off the job, but it judges using the same principle. The interviewer assumes the way you typically behave off the job, when the time is your own, predicts the kind of behavior you are likely to display on the job when you are expected to meet the company's performance standards. If an applicant displays a good work ethic, emotional maturity, and a sense of personal responsibility off the job, these personal qualities won't change should the applicant start a work shift. Instead, they will be exhibited on the job as well. So these mature personal characteristics, often called positive worker traits, are assets that make the applicant's job skills more effective. Having them give the employer additional reasons to hire that candidate. And that's why the interviewer asked the question. For if you, the applicant, answer this question in a way that displays little or no energy, social involvement, or initiative in your spare time, the interviewer will conclude that you, should you be hired, would display a similar lack of energy and initiative performing your work duties. And that's a reason not to hire you, no matter what your skill level happens to be. So how do you answer this question effectively? Well, here is a technique. Divide your life into four separate categories physically fit, mentally alert, socially responsible, and spiritually committed. The first two categories, physically fit and mentally alert, give you an opportunity to show a mature attitude toward health and learning, traits that employers highly value. The last two, socially responsible and spiritually committed, give you an opportunity to show responsibility toward your community and a mature attitude toward interacting with others. So how do you respond in each category? Just think of one or two things you do under each heading that show positive behavior. And incidentally, positive behavior in three out of the four categories is not bad at all and will successfully answer the question. So let's think our way through each category so we can construct an answer. Category 1, Physically Fit. What do you do to stay physically fit? Do you exercise? play any sports, walk or hike, watch what you eat, belong to a gym, find one or two things to say that give an example of how you stay fit. Let's say that you exercise and have started a diet that emphasizes healthy foods, such as more fruits and vegetables. These give us two things under this category to talk about. Category 2. Mentally alert. How do you keep your mind alive and growing? Do you have a hobby that produces something? Cooking, knitting, carpentry, poetry, or writing would fit in here just fine. Or, or do you enjoy reading? Do you like history or science? Do you keep up with the news? Let's say that you enjoy playing chess, a game that stretches the mind. And let's also say that you like reading mysteries, sort of playing the detective to figure out the clues in the novel before the hero figures them out. Again. That's two things to talk about. Category 3, Socially Responsible. What have you done to improve your community? How have you volunteered? What charities do you support and why? Have you done anything during the holidays to help less fortunate individuals or families? Let's say in this case that you volunteered to help raise money for your children's school for a special project and that you've supported the Salvation Army during the holidays. Again, we have two things to talk about. Category 4, the final category, spiritually committed. 
Do you attend a church, a synagogue, or a mosque? Have you volunteered at your place of worship for any special activity or charitable outreach? Have you sung in the choir, or even served as an usher? Let's suppose you attend church and were once a member of the choir. You don't have to be a current member of the choir. Past service still counts. And that gives us two things to talk about. And we're now ready to answer the employer's question in a way that shows energy, maturity, and responsible involvement. Let's put it together to construct an answer to the employer's question. Tell me, what do you do in your spare time? With the work we have done, this is the way we can now answer. In my spare time, I try to stay physically fit. To do that, I exercise and have changed my diet to emphasize more healthy foods, such as fruits and vegetables. This improves my energy and helps keep me fit. I also try to exercise my mind. For example, I enjoy playing chess. In addition, I enjoy reading mysteries. I like to play the role of the detective, putting the clues together to guess the ending before it's revealed. These activities keep me alert and growing mentally. I'm also involved in my community. I have, for example, raised money for my children's school for a special project. The band was trying to buy new uniforms, and I helped to sell candy to raise the funds. I also support the Salvation Army during the holidays for the work they do in the community. These kinds of activities help to make our community a better place to live. Finally, I do have a spiritual commitment. I attend church and have served as a choir member. I enjoy serving in this way. It helps keep me focused in my life. So in my spare time, I try to stay physically fit, mentally alert, socially involved, and spiritually committed. And I think these are good uses of my spare time. Wouldn't you agree? This answer shows both energy and maturity. In fact, you are quite busy and you work effectively with people. But not only are you active, you also know why you do the things that you do to stay healthy, both physically and mentally, and to offer yourself responsible teamwork to serve both your local community and your faith community. This strongly suggests that you are goal-driven and cooperative in your private life, and that implies that you will display the same traits on the job as well, which is exactly what the employer will want. This adds value to your work skills and makes you a more attractive candidate. And please note, it is simply not that hard to do. Until next time, this is David Richardson for Job Search Moments saying, you can get that job, so let's get it done.